Richard Donald Krenner was an American motion picture, television, and radio actor and occasional television director. He starred in such motion pictures as The Sand Pebbles, Wait Until Dark, Unfleek, Body Heat, the first three Rambo movies, Hot Shots, Part A, the remake of Sabrina and the Flamingo Kid. Krenner played Walter Denton in the CBS Radio Network and CBS TV Network series Armis Brooks, and Luke McCoy in ABC's TV comedy series, The Real McCoys which moved to CBS TV in September 1962. Early life, Krenner was born in Los Angeles, the only child of Edith J., who was a hotel manager in Los Angeles, and Domenic Anthony Krenner, a pharmacist. His parents were both of Italian descent. Krenner attended Virgil Junior High School, followed by Belmont High School in Los Angeles. Following high school, Krenner served in the U.S. Army during World War II. Krenner participated in World War II serving in the infantry as a radioman, where he saw combat duty in the European theater at the Battle of the Bulge. Krenner also served in the Pacific Theater decoding Japanese intercepts. Following World War II, Krenner attended the University of Southern California where he majored in English. Acting career, Richard Krenner got his acting start on radio. In 1937, he had gained his first role that of the kid who did everything wrong on Boy Scout Jamboree, a show on which he continued to appear occasionally in numerous roles until 1948. In the following year, he started playing Walter Bronco Thompson on The Great Gilda Sleeve, and played it until the show's end in 1957. He appeared as a delivery boy in My Favorite Husband episode Liz Cook's Dinner for Twelve, was Oogie Pringle on A Date with Judy episode The Competitive Diet, and several other episodes from the show and as a teenager on the George Burns and Grissy Allen show episode Watching the Neighbor's Daughter. From 1948 to 1952, he was Walter Denton on Our Miss Brooks and remained with the cast when they moved it to a television show. He guest starred on the I Love Lucy episode, The Young Fans with Janet Waldo and on NBC's 1955-56 anthology series, Frontier, in the lead role of the episode entitled The Ten Days of John Leslie. In 1956, on the television series Father Knows Best, Krenner appeared in the episode The Promising Young Man as a protege who is uninterested in a traditional business career but is blessed with an engaging personality and gift for gab. When the Miss Brooks TV series, which starred Eve Arden, underwent a change in format, his character Walter Denton was written off this series. Then, Krenner joined the cast of the comedy series, The Real McCoys as Luke McCoy. Kathleen Nolan was cast as his young wife, Kate McCoy in the series. Later, Krenner became one of the four directors of the series during its six-year run. Krenner portrayed the state senator James Slattery of California in the TV series Slattery's People, and for his acting in the series, he was twice nominated for Emmy Awards with slightly different names, for Outstanding Individual Achievements in Entertainment, in 1965 and for outstanding continued performance by an actor in a leading role in a dramatic series, in 1965. Krenner was also nominated for a Golden Globe Award for Best TV Star, Male in 1965, for this same role. During the 1970s Krenner continued his acting in such Western dramas such as Catlow, Brackheart Pass, and A Man Called Noon. He made a notable performance in Jean-Pierre Melville's final film Unfleek in 1972. Krenner was rewarded with an Emmy Award, and a nomination for a Golden Globe Award for Best Performance by an Actor in a Miniseries or Motion Picture made for television, for his performance as the main character in the movie The Rape of Richard Beck. Krenner portrayed the character of New York City Police Lieutenant of Detectives Frank Janek in a series of seven popular made-for-television films starting in 1988 and ending in 1994. Krenner is perhaps best known today for his role as John Rambo's ex-commanding officer Colonel Sam Trotman in the first three Rambo films, a role for which he was hired after the actor Kirk Douglas left the production just one day into the filming of the first movie of the series. Krenner himself also spoofed this character in the movie Hot Shots. Part A, in 1993. Krenner was awarded with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame located at 6714 Hollywood Boulevard. 
Krenner's performances were also reportedly the inspiration for the character Colonel Roy Campbell in the Metal Gear series of games. Illnesses and death, Krenner suffered from pancreatic cancer during his later years, but he reportedly died of heart failure in 2003. His remains were cremated. At the time of his death, Krenner was portraying the recurring character of Jar Duff in Judging Amy. Krenner's death necessitated the death of Jar Duff as well. Select filmography, references. External links. Richard Krenner at the Internet Movie Database, Archive of American Television Video Interview with Richard Krenner, Richard Krenner at Find a Grave.